Hello Pisces, welcome to my channel. This is your general love reading between you and your person as we wrap up 2022. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, if this is your story, I'd love to hear from you down in the comments as always. And if not, you can always check my channel and your other placements for messages you need to hear. Just please remember to like the video, subscribe and tap the notification bell so you can catch future readings for your sign. So to to my lovely Piscean subscribers, supporters, members of the Spicy Sub Society. Y'all are amazing. Thank you for your love and support. Um, also, thank you to those of you who have been making purchases from my shop this holiday season or booking personal readings with me. I love you guys. And if you're new to the channel, please be sure to check the description box below if you're wanting to do either one of those things. All of my links are down there, including my website and payment app information. Um, and I'm sure some of you have already seen that I've just recently posted another holiday sale. Um, so everything in my shop is currently 50% off as well as private readings, 50% off. So there's never been a better time to get your last minute gifts um, and support a small business. Okay. Even if it's not mine, y'all know the drill, support small businesses in general. So anyways, Pisces, if you're looking for another way to support the channel, um, you can become a member of the Spicy Subscriber Society. Um, so definitely Definitely look into that if you enjoy your readings a little saucy. Um, so yeah, and then you guys, before I get into the reading, just to give another big shout out to those of you who have been keeping a lookout in the spiritual community for scammers and impersonators, I do appreciate you guys letting me know and um, for your support. A lot of times these accounts will block me so I can't see that they're there um, and they'll just like try to follow all of my followers and select solicit y'all for services. So just know that that is not me. Okay. I will never reach out to you asking you to buy something from me. I mean, yes, I will advertise my services and my goods, but I'm not going to try to, um, DM you or follow you on any social media platform. Okay. So just keep that in mind and continue to use your discernment. Okay. So anyways, Pisces, like I said, this is a general love reading. So keep in mind, this could be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or the Crotch Watcher, as we like to say. So whoever you are, let's see what spirit would like you to know in regards to the overall energy of your connection. I'll be starting out with, I'm actually using two Chekali Tarot's today, one large, one small, um, but I'll be using the large deck with just Major Arcana to see what the overall theme is. So let's see what it is. Okay, Pisces, so we're starting with the Fool energy. Um, so yeah, I do think that you and your person, or either or, okay, depending on your scenario, um, someone here is longing for a new beginning, okay? Someone is really possibly maybe even feeling foolish for not getting started on this path sooner. And also, you know, the look of kind of worry on this individual's face is telling me that this new beginning might come along with some risks um, or leaps of faith, right? But the full energy is the divine asking you to trust that everything is lining up for your highest good, to trust that you're going to get exactly where you need to go. So let's see what else. What else do we need to see for Pisces? Oh my gosh. So first of all, we got a lot going on here, okay? We're starting out with the death energy. So now we have Snow White and her seven dwarves. Look at her. She just ate the poison apple. So this could be metaphorical for some of you as well. You know, maybe there was a situation um, that needed to sort of come to an end. And maybe this did involve sort of ingesting some sort of poison. Hopefully not literally, but you know, words can be poison sometimes or just people's intentions. So there could have been some sort of poisoned aspect to a previous connection or situation, which was revealed, right? And now you know, or your person knows that it's time to rise again for this new beginning. Um, and as you know, Snow White wasn't dead. Okay. She was only sleeping. So for some of you, if you feel like, oh my gosh, like how am I going to possibly have a brand new beginning when I feel like this or when I've gone through this, okay, there's always a new beginning with every single ending. 
And that is the energy of the death card. So next up, we have the devil in the reverse. Um, once again, we're talking about some sort of poisoned aspect here. So that could be a metaphor for toxicity, codependency, um, feeling bound and chained to some sort of connection that wasn't good for you, for your mental, physical, or emotional health. And you can see here this giant, um, okay, so first of all, y'all, I love this deck because it's the perfect combination of creepy and whimsical, um, and there are some Christmassy themes within the deck, so I like to use it around the holidays, but you can see here this giant carrot has become personified, okay, and he's like about to prey on this woman, so if you're the person in this scenario that has felt that you've been preyed on, um, or again, if you're talking about the energy of your person, if you know they're in some some sort of a toxic situation and they have needed to find their way out um we also have the judgment card coming up right afterwards a little bit of an alice in wonderland theme here the the maze the roses and the little white rabbit with the key so that could also be a little bit of what this scenario has felt like, right? Going through this this maze and knowing that on, on some level there's going to be a way out at some point um, and that spirit is going to take you there. And that's the purpose of judgment. It's spirit tooting and blasting that horn up in your grill and getting you back on the right path. So I feel too that on some level, there could have been either a guide or someone that has been helping whoever this is find their way out of this complicated kerfuffle of a maze. And this could even be whoever this is realizing that they're the ones who had the key the entire time. So this little white rabbit could be representative of um, your higher self, okay, or your person's higher self. Uh, but yeah, judgment is also a card of resurrection. So if this is one of those scenarios where you and your person have been separated due to some toxic and um, toxic and poisoned uh, relationship or family or friendship or work dynamic, okay, whatever the third party is in your scenario, then spirit has been guiding this connection back to the proper course, okay? So very, very interesting. Now we have the tower coming in at the bottom of the deck. Sorry for the glare, you guys. Um, so the tower. Tower, okay, you can see here the tower is being held up by all kinds of different like doodads. All right, this is reminding me of MacGyver energy. So, you know, whoever this is was really trying their best to keep everything, um, everything up and, and running, but it started to get to that point where it's you can't really make something out of nothing, okay? And that's what the tower comes in to remind you. Your your foundations that should be stable or that you thought were stable really aren't. It's a shakeup. Um, it's shocking news. It's a breakup or divorce, okay? So the tower is coming in on this scenario. And like I said, judgment is saying that spirit and the universe has your back. It's, it's leading you back to where you need to be and now I'm hearing the song love will lead you back so yeah and now we have the empress underneath that so I feel like this is a separation situation and possibly you could be divine feminine watching this reading maybe you've been keeping an eye on your person um I think it's ironic too that we have this um empress and she's surrounded by bugs okay there's a fly on her there's a dragonfly a beetle a spider um and you know I know a lot of you probably know but they usually say when you have like flies around you or any sort of like beetles and things like that it can can sort of like warn you against danger or watching eyes um but you can see she doesn't really care so much about the flies or the beetles or anything like that because this spider next to her that's a symbol of divine feminine protection okay she knows and i'm saying she could be you could be your person but this individual knows that no matter what comes at her no matter who has a hateful watchful eye no matter who is wishing harm upon her if she focuses on love this dragonfly symbolizing love that she will always be protected, okay? So they're, the crown is never going to slip off of this person's head, no matter what the external circumstances are. So if that's you and you consider yourself divine feminine in this scenario, then 
Spirit is saying like, hats off to you. You're doing a really good job staying focused in your energy, um, being nurturing, kind, and creating what you want to see in this world around the ideas of love. Okay. So let's get into the mini tarot and see what is going on specifically with this person. Okay. How are they thinking in regards to you and this connection? Oh, we have two actually. So we're starting out with the ace of wands and the two of cups, you guys. So yeah, you know, I feel like this person is definitely very passionate about you talking about having a new beginning. They want to have a new beginning involving actual chemistry, connection, um, inspired by new ideas. And, you know, you see her, she's cherishing this red salamander, but I feel like this is more so a sensual energy. Your person thinks of you and they want to cherish you. They want to be, they want to be on you, okay? <laughs> they want to be on you, okay? So two of cups, it's not just the sex. It's not just the passion. It's true love. This is matching energy, mutual respect and mutual feelings. You can see the way that they're holding one another. It's a symbol of protection, of true caring energy, love. So I do feel as if this person is very focused on coming into union with the one that they have a fire blazing for. Okay, they're not interested in sticking around in any toxic connections any longer. They're looking for something real and true. So let's talk about their feelings. Even though I feel like the Two of Cups and the Ace of Wands are pretty <laughs> are pretty clarifying there. But so yeah, their feelings. We have the Nine of Swords. Now this card, um, I like this card because it is a really good description of the Nine of Swords. It's like making a mountain out of a molehill, suffering in silence about something that seems very daunting and scary, but in reality, it's just a little, it's cute little stuffed bunny, okay? And you can see these two little girls are hiding. They're afraid of the bunny. Uh, but this came up in another reading, okay? And we're talking about toxic energy or someone that has been possibly poisoning or um, trying to affect this person in a negative way. And the the concept of covert narcissism had popped up, okay? So, you know, yeah, maybe to everyone on the outside, this person's partner, whoever they were dealing with, didn't seem threatening at all, right? Maybe they just appear like a cute little fuzzy little stuffed animal like bunny, all oh, so cute and so nice and so altruistic. But then behind the scenes, this person is terrorizing your person, um, manipulating them, causing them to be afraid of the future. And so going back to the energy of the fool, a reason this person might be scared to take this risk is because they've been conditioned to be scared. Okay. Um, we also have the moon underneath the surface though, their feelings are very, very deep, right? So we've, we've got the energy of secrets coming to the surface, emotions being revealed, fears being illuminated. And what better time to, to have this card pop up while we're still in the reverberating energy of the full moon in Gemini. That was a really big theme in the general collective reading. So if you haven't already seen that one and you're looking for some more content, definitely go watch that video because there was a lot of, at the end wasn't supposed to be a love reading, you guys, but at the end was talking very specifically about affairs and um, scandalous situations being revealed and secrets coming out, okay? Someone was making a confession. So the moon and the nine of swords, like your person is really afraid, okay? They're scared of this other person, um, but I think they're also realizing that the fears they have are all within their mind. It's all been some sort of smoke and mirror illusion okay so let's go ahead and talk about how this person is perceiving you okay so Pisces I love this card this reminds me a little bit of you it's a little mermaid here sitting inside of a um, what looks like a tiny little terrarium um, it looks like there's a, a bird flying above her head, but it's actually a fish with wings. So a lot of like oceanic energy here. 
But the Four of Cups is the story of coulda, shoulda, woulda, right? It's feeling unsatisfied and disappointed with the way things went. And maybe that is how this person made you feel in the past due to their previous situation. Maybe they weren't able to fight off or rise up against this karmic energy and it left you feeling a little bit stuck. But this is the the silver lining card as well, where the Ace of Cups is coming in from the clouds. This is Spirit's way of saying no matter what happens or didn't happen, you are being aligned with your highest good. Okay, There are golden opportunities for love available to you if you stop focusing on the past. So this could possibly be your person's perception of you, again, disappointed in them, um, feeling like this was some sort of a missed opportunity to have love. Um, and then the sun card as well. So they are perceiving you as someone very warm, very um, optimistic, a leader, someone with, you know, pizzazz okay so you can see she's skipping through the field and her dress is made of honeycomb she's surrounded by bees so this is um again another energy of like protection um and good luck and fortune so the sun popping up and how they perceive you it's like they know that you're the person that would make them happy because you yourself are a happy individual you see the positive side of life um and you sort of live in your own <laughs> your own little honeycomb in a sense right so so yeah this is also a yes energy so it's a confirmation card so i do feel that your person is also perceiving you as being disappointed in them but you're still living your life and you're still hopeful for for a positive new start with this person. So how are they how are they currently behaving in the 3D? So we have the Queen of Pentacles, okay? Something I find a little bit ironic about this card though is that we have this woman here who's eating this ice cream cone, but the ice cream cone is also personified. It looks like um it has humanistic features, right? Eyes, a nose, a mouth. So, and I'm hearing feeding on. So I do feel that this person has, um, either they're married, right? Or they have uh, a partner that is feeding off of them financially. Queen of Pentacles is also someone who is very financially stable, a good mother, a nurturing, kind individual. But like I said, in some case scenarios, this could be what things look like on the outside. Meanwhile, on the inside, nobody sees how this relationship or this connection is slowly eating away at this person. So yes, I do feel that right now, um, they are wanting to kind of clarify things with whoever this person is because the ace, or excuse me, the ace of swords, it's the knight of swords. So the knight of swords is very fast moving energy. Okay. Again, we're talking about the full moon in Gemini. This card has been coming up a lot in these Zodiac readings. It's the need to come forward and speak your truth. Consequences be damned. Okay. So you can see the fast moving energy here in this card heading towards this queen of pentacles. So talking about things being revealed, you know, everybody has their breaking point. This is something I talk about a lot. You know, you can, you can really just keep going and going and tearing into someone, um, using them, confusing them, manipulate, whatever games people try to play, everyone has their breaking point. Some people have no tolerance for that sort of stuff. And other people, they're in situations where they feel like they have no choice but to tolerate that. Now, this person is starting to rise up in their, their power, in their truth, and they're charging forward at that queen of pentacles to say, hey, you know, you cannot keep feeding off of me. You cannot keep tormenting me, torturing me behind the scenes while everyone thinks you're some sort of hero okay let's see how okay let's see what else spirit wants us to know about this person's intentions moving forward so the ten of pentacles and the three of swords so it's like look at this okay i don't know if it will zoom in these cards are kind of tiny, but let's see. There we go. Maybe you can see a little bit better there. So I feel as if this person is ready to just jump off of the carousel, just like this image here, 
Yes, maybe they have a stable life at home. Maybe they are in a long-term committed partnership connection. Um, but you can see here she is no longer bound by that pole on the ride. She's removing herself. Um, so this could be your person with the three of swords deciding they've experienced so much pain in this connection and also potentially put you in a third party, put this person in a third party. Um, but yeah, they're tired of it. Okay. You can see she's like stabbed through the heart, shot through the heart. That's what I'm hearing now. So this person feels like their karmic partner gives love a bad name, essentially. They built this life. They're they're going around on this merry-go-round and everything's going so well. And then all of a sudden they realize, like, wait a minute, this isn't fun anymore, okay? It's not fun having it all but not having love. It's not fun being stuck in a relationship where everything is so mechanical or forced. This person realizes that their heart is broken because they're not happy where they are. Okay, so let's see. I feel like that was very general and that card kind of popped out before I asked my question. So let's ask again, what are the intentions towards Pisces from this person? So the nine of pentacles. Okay. And the knight of wands. So use your discernment, Pisces, because I do feel as if this person intends to break free of that situation. Um, the, the swan energy here, and she's dressed as a swan. I think this person is aware that they have a very deep soul connection with you, but I feel as if this person has been hiding behind their previous connection for so long that they sort of became that energy, and now they need to focus on bringing themselves stability and balance and independence without this person and without anybody. I think this person intends to maybe remain single for a time. Um, the Knight of Wands tells me that, yes, they, they are going to take action towards you. They are going to um, possibly try to get physical with you, okay, and see where the connection goes. Because remember, the Knight of Wands can be very brave and, and fast moving, sort of like the Knight of Swords. But this is someone who acts without thinking. So I think this person is going to be acting on their impulses. So just be aware that they are still healing from that other situation. So if they do come at you and they want to take it to the next level physically, or if they want to experience this connection with you um, and experience this passion without commitment then first of all, understand that this person has been through a lot and they need their independence first before they can commit to someone else. And also, you know, you don't want to settle for anything that you, that you don't deserve. Okay. So if you're wanting commitment from this person, I think spirit is saying like, they're still trying to find their way out of that other commitment. And maybe they do want to, to be with you, to have sex with you, to be on you, like I said before. But um, just remember to keep your boundaries with this person as they are still going through a release of that other situation. All right. So what is this person's true desire, their wish, their dream? The Four of Swords. Yeah, like I said, they want to heal. They're tired of being heartbroken and sad and, and feeling like nothing's going right for them. They need to recover from this situation. Um, and they're not really... They're not really trying to be so concerned about the outcome or the, the final ending. I think this person just needs to rest, okay? They desire to rest and, and separate from that situation. And then we also have the hanged one. So um, I love how they're conjoined twins. Reminds me of American Horror Story Freak Show. So yeah, I, I feel like this person is definitely desiring to see life through a different lens. Um... I also feel like this person is is really desiring to become unstuck from their situation. Like I said before, this person has spent so much time um, allowing that energy to, to 
pursue that they have become that energy themselves. So it's like this person is just an extension of that other person and they need to find their own individuality, their own personality. Um, they need to understand that being stuck in that situation, doing the copycat routine of their partner isn't getting them any, anywhere. It's just swinging back and forth, back and forth. Okay. No destination. So I think this person just really desires to break free from that whole freak show. Okay. <laughs> Is what I'll call it. Um, and look at that. You guys, we have the death card again on the bottom of the deck as clarity. Your person knows that this situation has run its course. Um, they possibly also feel very betrayed by all of the energy and everything they put into that connection, being, you know, kind to that person, helping them, whatever it is that they did. And they ended up getting stabbed in the back. But what this person didn't know about your person is that they are resilient and that whatever whatever harm or ill intent that they sent to your person to keep them stuck, I feel like this person is going to end up rising above because what happens to Snow White, right? She gets kissed by the prince and she finds her true love who awakens her. Um, so yeah, if, if you are the metaphorical prince here, Pisces, then I do feel that there is a chance for your person to still awaken um, and to realize the depth of the love that you share. But as of right now, like I said, I'm thinking of that Knight of Wands combination um, with the Nine of Pentacles. So just don't have ridiculously high expectations of this person right as they're getting out of that situation. Give them some time and space to find themselves, okay? Because look at that. We have the Four of Wands underneath that. So this is the Twin Flamesy Poo energy. So this is also Spirit popping up to say um, union between you and this person is, is inevitable. I feel like the both of you know that uh, stability and happiness, it, it comes from being together. And, um, and yeah, I do feel too that this is a, a card of manifestation energy. So if you do truly feel as if this person is meant for you, then Spirit could be telling you to stay the course, okay? Um, stay the course because on the bottom of the deck, we have the victory card, victory and success. So keep pursuing, um, from a place that feels good to your spirit, to your soul, because you are being divinely guided and you have a team of spirit guides and angels behind you, leading you, um, and kind of helping you along. Okay. So just trust your intuition, um, and everything will work out the way that it's supposed to. Okay. Um, so yeah. And, and then you guys, again, right underneath that is the tower once more. So we're getting a lot of double cards. Um, I think spirit is simply saying like the forced foundations, the false foundations, they are going to crumble. Okay. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to say anything because if it was meant to stand, then it would. And um, the fact that it's not, the fact that it's starting to wobble and shake and, and come apart is a testament to exactly what you've known to be true, which is that you and this person are supposed to, to have a happy union together, okay? So let's clarify their external situation. I'm going to set these down right here. So let's clarify their external situation. The Four of Swords, once again. So this person could very well already be in a stage of healing, um, surrendering to the outcome, surrendering to the universe, knowing that they've been forcing the situation for so long. That's the reason that their heart's broken. Like they broke their own heart. So that now they need to do the backpedal dance and get their way out of it. Um, we have the Eight of Pentacles as well. You see the halo on top of the pentacles in a stack. This is another sign from your angels, from spirit, saying this person is really working hard in the physical to um, to get their finances in order, okay? They're probably really focused on work right now or even using work as a distraction to get away from that situation. Um, and they're working their way to their independence. I mean, this is the card that comes before the Nine of Pentacles. So I do feel your person is already on their way to achieving what they need to achieve. We also have the Five of Cups. 
Okay, it came out in the reverse. So I feel like Spirit's saying this person is no longer um, upset or depressed or sad about the past. Okay, so they're not like upset anymore about their previous relationship not working. They're not going to hold themselves in regret forever or or keep crying over something that didn't work because, again, the, the Two of Cups is still there. It's still an option. And they know that they can have this union, this balanced relationship, if they walk away from that energy of the past. All right. What else do we need to see about their external situation? Page of Swords. So right now, I think your person is in a state of observation. Um, I love how he's wearing like glasses, blocking his eyes. So your person could be keeping an eye on you. Um, they could just be keeping an eye on everyone right now, not really saying what they want to say, even though they have a lot to say. And this is the precursor to that Knight of Swords. I think this person may have been keeping to themselves and sort of watching that person to see how they're behaving, observing them, um, and just kind of keeping to themselves. All right. Um, so yeah, I do think that maybe this person has also tried to speak to this other individual, um, but didn't really get met with the response that they wanted. Oh, my ears ringing. So again, that's why they may be in this mode now, like, okay, fine, like I won't say what I need to say, I won't speak my truth because you're not going to listen or you're not going to make the changes that need to be made within the relationship. And then finally, we have the Ten of Wands. So even more confirmation. Your person's letting go of these burdens. They're no longer interested in carrying a load that's not their own. Um, it's like the Ten of Pentacles swiftly morphed into the Ten of Wands before they knew it. And now it's not like some happy home, some stable situation. It's, I need to get out of here because it, everything feels like a burden. Everything feels like a challenge. Um, and they don't ever get a reprieve. They never get a rest. They never get a break. Okay. They're always just carrying everyone else's bullshit. So they're going to be releasing that. Okay. They're releasing that and they are ending that burdensome cycle. And look at this bottom of the deck. We have the judgment card popping up in the reverse. So I do feel that the underlying energy here is your person is aware that they have made some really bad decisions in the past. You know, they may have felt like getting married was such a good call. And then now they're looking back at it and they're like, damn, that was not the right call at all. Look at the situation that I'm in now. Okay. And that oftentimes happens, right? A lot of people get married before the age of 25, before they've even been able to process any of their childhood trauma. And then they wonder why they're 35, 45 in a miserable ass relationship and finding love in someone else because love can't exist within that trauma okay and I do feel that that person um, has decided against moving forward in that situation all right so a very very interesting energy let's go ahead and get some advice from spirit I need to get me like a comfy beanbag chair or something to sit in this spot I love doing the readings here on my dresser but it's so low to the ground that I can only sit down on the carpet so I need to I need to fix that situation so what is spirit's advice for Pisces so we have thoughtfulness it's time to put your money where your mouth is and have fun showing your love Think of all the little things you can do to show a person you love them. Then stop thinking of those things and actually do them. Is it time to hide a note in someone's pocket? Make them a snack? Order them a book? Anything thoughtful can be an act of love, even taking the trash out to the dumpster. Hallelujah. I mean, seriously, can someone else do that for me, please? Um, <laughs> unless you're dating the trash. <laughs> in which case, don't take it to the dumpster. Take it somewhere fancy. <laughs> Wow, who would have thought that being so full of thoughts could be considered thoughtful? So yeah, you know, like I said before, people are getting married so young and 20 years of their life are going by and they're realizing like love isn't what they thought it was and they're finding love in other people. And, you know, I'm a firm believer, like do not be chasing that married man. Do not, you know, be putting yourself in the middle or forcing any third party situations because it's never going to end out well. Okay. So, um, I think that these readings where the third party energy shows up, it's important to be detached 
and it's important to acknowledge what's going on, but not put yourself in the middle. Um, so yeah, maybe there are some thoughtful things that you can do or say to this person to make them feel better. Okay. In the moment, um, or this could be spirit's way of telling you to go out and have some fun showing love to yourself. Okay. Um, know that your energy is going to be reciprocated. So whatever you put out there is going to be what you get back. Depending on your situation, maybe you are on talking terms with this person. Maybe they have already gone through the divorce process and you are in communication. Um, so yeah, this could again be like spirit nudging you to do something nice for this person to lift up their spirits. Um, and then we have celebration. So when I come across people in happy, healthy relationships, I give jealousy the finger and celebrate their joy. When I do so, I'm rooting for the good guys, which means that I'm a good guy. And that means all of us win. Who wants to celebrate? So um, that's another thing too. Talking about uh, giving jealousy the finger. Pisces, if you have felt a stab of jealousy in regards to this person and their previous situation, um, don't, okay? Don't allow yourself to give in to that energy because everything that's meant for you is going to be for you. If this person was in a third party or in another relationship situation, um, allow that person to let that situation play out um, and know that the time for you to celebrate is going to come, right? We have that four of wands um, and I trust that this is a divinely guided connection here. So let's get one more card of advice and then we will get some love messages from the 5D. Independence. So I embrace total independence and I see how empowering that is. Even when I'm in a relationship, I can still be independent by meeting my own needs and creating my own happiness. When I do that, I'm the fullest version of myself and I have much more of me to give without needing pieces of me in return, which is a scientifically impossible expectation. So I love the sun and the moon here, divine feminine, divine masculine, um, Again, this is this is spirit telling you this person needs to find their independence just like you have, okay? Um, there's nothing good about a codependent relationship. The last thing you want is this person rebounding on you from their situation and then you end up getting heartbroken. So remember, this person is in the middle of finding their independence, Um Put yourself in their shoes, okay? You can't pour from an empty cup. So allow this person to do just that um, while you continue to provide that to yourself as well. And then we have wait and see. So thoughts love to wander into assumptions and race ahead into the future. But what if I told you, wait a minute, what if you told them to cool their jets and chill a sec. Today you get to put your mental chatter on pause to take a breath and simply wait and see how things play out before you let your mind run a marathon of imagined scenarios. Wait and you'll see that waiting and seeing was a lot more productive than wondering and worrying. Insert audible sigh of relief here. So if you find yourself trapped in that temperance mode, um, getting anxious about what's to come, just allow yourself to trust, okay? Waiting and seeing is a lot better than trying to force a situation into fruition, okay? So let's go ahead and see what the love messages from the 5D are going to entail. What does this person want to say to you? Okay, so we're starting out with, I've been keeping tabs on you through social media. I know a lot more than you think, okay? So once again, the Page of Swords did pop up, so not surprised to see that card here. I'm working hard to release old karmic debts. It's not an easy process, but I can't move forward until I clear things up, okay? I'm trying to be honest about my feelings, but I've never been good at expressing them. And I've written you a thousand letters, but I can't seem to find it in me to send one. I'm afraid you're better off without me. So like I said, this person, 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 this person has been conditioned to be afraid, okay? They've been conditioned to fear and to be insecure based on this previous connection, 
So don't be surprised that this person is in this mode, right? They're, they want to talk to you. They have a lot to say, but they, they can't because every time they try to reach out or every time they get ready to do that, their fear reigns them back in, okay? What else does this person want you to know? I love you more than life itself. Yeah. Um, and again, I'm thinking of that image of the two of cups where they're holding each other, protecting each other. I'm leaving behind anything that's toxic because to be honest, I'm so done with the drama. Yeah. Okay. We saw the 10 of pentacles where they were diverting from the carousel scene you know running off in their own path and then we saw that hanged man energy where you know that individual was actually a conjoined twin um again becoming the energy of that person of that relationship so this person's done with that all right the ten of wands they're done with the drama they're done carrying the bullshit uh they're ready to release themselves from that what else do we need to see I know I need to swallow my pride and just make things right already. Um, yeah, and that could be why they're watching and waiting because they're trying to figure out a way to do that. Life sucks right now and I have so much on my plate. This distance is taking a major toll on me. So yeah, if you are apart from this person, they are not happy about it at all, okay? Um, and your energy is magnetizing. I always feel pulled in your direction. So going back to what I said before, um, this could be one of those situations that I mentioned, okay? Your person maybe got married at a young age and now they're completely different from who they intended to be because of that situation. And now they're being pulled in the direction of true authentic love, Pisces. So hopefully this reading resonated with someone out there. If it did, definitely comment below, share the video, like the video. Um, and other than that, I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of Sagittarius season. Stay safe out in them holiday streets and I will be seeing you again very soon. I love you. Bye.